I don't even know what to say. I, I shouldn't even be encouraging you guys to, to make this shit, but I, <laughs> how can I pass this up? Like, how am I not supposed to make a video about this? When is it going to be time to stop? When is, when is it going to just go too far? That's, that's what I want to know because, uh, this, <laughs> this, <laughs> It's getting out of control. Like, who thinks of this? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's great. Like, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this, whatever happens here. Uh, and clearly, this this had a lot of work put into it. But uh, I'm just I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid for the community. I guess we can assume that everyone here on this continent now is African American, right? Like, does it still work like that? It's still Africa, but they're in America, kind of the South. Uh, I I don't know. Are the Europeans even gonna colonize this? Like, it's such a it's such a messed up mod. I I don't know. Is the AI gonna understand here? Does it make it different? I don't know. I hope I hope it would be fine. I feel like Morocco should just dominate this game, right? Like they just colonize Panama and the rest of Central America. And I believe the African South Americans should be fine against the the regular Native Americans. Well, we're gonna find out. I don't even think the Suez Canal is even possible in this world, right? Like that's just too much thickness. I I believe. I, mean, I don't think this universe is ever going to see something like that. But this new strait here is pretty interesting. Like, these islands would probably make a big difference. You can't really just control one pass anymore. Of course, everything still remains the same. It's just, you know, these two continents have been swapped somehow. Uh, religion and culture has been brought with them, so we'll see how that changes both hemispheres. Okay, so I guess nothing too surprising, at least in the very beginning. Portugal's arrived first in... I don't know, like Colombia, something like that. It's turned on its side, so it's a little confusing. And uh, they also grabbed this island too, so that's actually pretty useful. Actually, you know, the Iberians don't have to worry about much now. They don't have like an annoying rival to the south, so they can get down here quick. Also, we all know how much they love South America. I don't even know what to call this. It's definitely not Africa, but it's also not South America anymore. I guess we'll just call it af America? af America doesn't sound too bad. I'm actually really hoping these nations do well here, just because, I mean, they don't have to worry about the Europeans, at least for a little bit. They're going to get some time alone. Also, the Ottomans aren't here just to obliterate everything. And because they have all of the eastern coastline, I'd imagine it's going to be a little bit more difficult to colonize. So we're moving fast, and uh, it's nice to see everything is working correctly, if you want to say this is correctly working. We've got Portuguese Colombia being founded just a little bit further south than their homeland. That's great. We also got British Brazil and uh, another British territory. Also, the French have arrived and the Arabians are doing something. I didn't even think about that. They could easily get over here if they really wanted to. I was going to mention the Inca just because, you know, I was hoping they'd have a good game. I don't know why. That was stupid. They have a way worse chance here in this universe than anything else. Spain is formed, which is fine, but I, I don't really care about that. I'm liking this Naples, though. This is quick. They got something way up here. I don't know what happened. We might see Italy, though, soon. And you know what? We all know Italy sucks in the African front, but what about the Af-American front? It, it might totally change things. Maybe they just suck in the desert. They don't have to worry about that anymore. They just have to worry about a massive rainforest now. Maybe they'll do better there. Madagascar is nice and isolated now, which uh, maybe is a good thing. I'd love to see them do well, and they're united politically, you know, just do something, please. Don't you guys still have the Black Plague? I actually just noticed that the Sahara Desert isn't even here anymore, or at least it doesn't look like it. It's just like this green wasteland. Although I still think it's, oh yeah, some parts are, never, never mind. Portugal's already made it to the Caribbean. I guess that's just how it's gonna be. Like, I'm feeling like most of North America is gonna get eaten up first since African South America is kind of already full. I don't know what's happening in Eastern Europe, but uh, I I think it's pretty disgusting. I think the Ottomans are probably gonna do pretty all right. Uh, we also have Danish Baltic territory and the Swiss. Did the Swiss eat Austria? It kind of looks like that. So much for being neutral. Timothy still hasn't blown up, which that's kind of a first, at least in a while. Good job, Timmy. I mean, if he keeps it all together, he usually has pretty good games. And the British have just arrived in Newfoundland, so I guess they shouldn't be impacted too much by what's going on in the continents. They can still kind of do what they do. It's probably the most divided South Africa I've ever seen. South, South Africa, South African American, it's the Portuguese, Spain, and French all kind of sharing it. Although I am starting to see a lot of Europeans break through this Eastern coast. We've got obviously the Portuguese, the Spanish, and I believe, is that Britain too? Pro probably. Wow, Morocco. Okay, you guys sucked. Did you? even really try? What <laughs> what happened? I'm assuming the Spanish did something to you that wasn't very nice. On a random note, uh, Japan somehow took a lot of the Korean coastline as well as this thing up here. And I guess there's a second war going on 
just the fact that the Koreans even landed and sieged this stuff out, that's pretty amazing. Rush is formed, but that's kind of not surprising. I feel like they do that every single time now. The thing is, like, are they actually going to do something with all this? I feel like a lot of the times they just get embarrassed. I gotta say, I'm real proud of my spirit nation. Oh, Switzerland, they're looking nice and thick. And hey, if Observer Nation can do well, if they play the game, then... Maybe I should play it too. Maybe there's hope for Observer Boy. Brandenburg also though. Brandenburg's looking great. Uh, also, it looks like the Commonwealth did form, but they're not gonna have the same game as they did last time. They're probably gonna die. Very historical. North America's filling up fast, as we expected. Arguably faster than the other continents that we're focusing on. We've got uh, British Newfoundland, Florida, French Louisiana, New Castile. Uh, the French have even made it to California somehow. They got around here fast. I feel like that'd be kind of a first. It's been a while if ever I've seen Portugal colonize Australia and no one else is even here not yet at least so it is looking like this entire continent's gonna go to them I guess technically if you think about it we should probably just start calling this place desert Brazil it's been a while I feel since we've seen a big beautiful Prussia that uh that Prussian color hopefully can stop the Ottomans because yeah they're doing all right actually so is Timmy though uh, again because Timmy kept it together in the very beginning I think it's helped him here and uh clearly they're doing a lot of damage to Russia I don't know if Russia's gonna survive. I don't know what happened in Scandinavia. Like, I, I don't know if the best detectives could figure this shit out. Uh, Scandinavia formed, but then Denmark and Norway popped up. Uh, they also have Finnish lands and part of, like, Baltic territory. That's definitely a sign right there. I feel like that's definitely a sign. As soon as I pointed them out that the Swiss are doing well, and maybe I should play the game, they're now about to die. Like, they, they heard that, and now they're just gonna kill themselves. Guess I won't be playing then. So I guess Friesland really likes this new continent, this new Af America place. They have a lot of territory, not a majority. It, I think Spain might still have that, but man, it's close. Portugal does still control Portuguese Colombia, which might be a good idea just in case uh, Spain gets some ideas. I, I think they tried to take them out, but no, it didn't happen. And the Ottomans are slowly taking nibbles away from little Madagascar. That's Sad. I thought this island would have a good, you know, kind of a nice game. No, not here. Good, good. So Desert Brazil has been founded uh, along with D Desert Lord of the Rings land. I don't know what we're going to call that one. But uh, yeah, that's uh, not used to this. And the French and Spanish have also kind of arrived. They're probably going to take out a lot of these nations. Korea is now basically dead somehow. Japan still holding on. Although, who is that? How did, how did they get... This, oh, maybe they, yeah, they're gonna get taken out probably. Anyways, as expected, Ming is doing fine. They still have all their homies kind of protecting them. They really are like meat shields at this point. And uh, they're doing so well that they got a little piece of Alaska. We have Chinese Alaska. I mean, it's not that impressive, but uh, man, that's cool. As for the rest of North America, it's not insane. Like we've seen something like this before, but it is pretty divided. Whole lot of people over here. And the Europeans are now just arriving in Sub-Saharan Africa or <sighs> the sub African, South America, whatever you want to call it. This is probably the hardest place to get to, if you think about it. Well, that sucks. Wow. All right, well, I clearly was not looking into personal unions all that much, because that, that's what happened here. I just really thought the Prussians were going to do a whole lot more with this. They have kind of just relaxed. I mean, they're doing a little bit. I'm assuming the Ottomans have making it difficult. They're, they're doing all right. And uh, I guess we're not going to see Italy form. They still haven't done it yet, and... Uh, that's too bad. I wanted to see if it was Africa that was just like their kryptonite or or maybe they just really struggle with a lot of things. Again, the Nordic region just continues to get stranger and stranger. So Denmark, I guess, destroyed Scandinavia and uh, they have like the Swedish and Finnish territory. Norway's here though. You definitely don't normally see that. And Timmy's doing some good things. Okay, so we've seen this nation pop up quite a few times. Uh, they are doing all right. They actually could give Ming uh, a lot of problems because I think Ming's still doing all right. I feel like we see way more Europeans get Indochina than we do ever seeing like a Spanish or British Raj. I mean, there are places here, but it's not a whole lot. Ming also has Hawaii. So they're really just being their own US, I guess, with Hawaii and Alaska. I'm really liking this Rwanda. I feel like we don't see them all too often and they're still surviving in between the British and Spanish. That's pretty nice. Plus, I mean, don't they have like real nice hotels here or something? It's kind of odd to see Europe not take over this entire continent if, if we're considering it to be like a part of America, at least, because they got everything up there, but they have a lot of work to do over this way. Madagascar ended up being the village bicycle, I guess, because uh, everyone got a piece of that, apparently, mostly the Ottomans, but uh, yeah, lots of people over here. America ended up looking all right, I guess. A little disappointed that the Arabians didn't do a little bit more. I mean, they did unify their entire peninsula, but I don't know exactly what British Brazil did. They were struggling, and then they got a lot of stuff back. And once again, another Paradox game making me look just completely 
moronic. As soon as I say I should have checked the personal unions, another personal union happened, and uh, Portugal integrated Spain. Has this ever happened before? Like, one country, personal unions, and integrates another, and then it happens to them. I don't know, this seems incredibly rare. Which means they just got all of the Spanish colonies. Some of the Spanish colonies were formerly French, so we had like French Louisiana that was then Spanish, French Louisiana, now Portuguese, Spanish, French Louisiana. Much better name. The Portuguese clearly won the game for this continent. I mean, they they just handled everything. Just British, Brazil's left, and, and even them, like they're not even that powerful. I guess there's not much hope for this world anymore since uh, I thought it was already over with Spain. It was, the game was over when Spain had all of French lands, but now it's kind of done. With religion, uh, things haven't really been too insane. I mean, this this continent is still super Catholic. That's not shocking, but uh, yeah, uh, kind of odd to see all this in the West. Not used to that. I don't really know how trade nodes worked in this mod, but it appears that they just kept it all the same from the base game. So who knows what kind of an impact that had. Oh yeah, and uh, culture is definitely, uh, it was up in the air, at least here. Not so much for here. This actually kind of just all say the same. Here it is, moment of truth. Real shocking here, right? Great powers. Portugal. Portugal just, man, that is crazy. They have such a huge lead. It's actually kind of weird that the Ottomans are still second when the changes to the map, I thought it was actually going to hurt them, but no, they did all right. You never really can underestimate the Paradox modding community, right? Like, this shouldn't have been a shocker at all to me. This has probably been the best of these like <laughs> map changes though. We've seen like Australia put in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That was kind of cool. And then like, you know, removing certain countries like Italy, we did something like that. This has got to be my favorite though. And this really worked well in EU4. Probably wouldn't have worked as well in Hoi4. I don't, I don't think, well, it'd still be kind of interesting, but I think it's a lot harder to do this sort of thing in those types of games. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to Elfie C, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruise, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, I don't know how to say this one, Brith WIR, and Alfonso M6. Thank you.